Buenos dias. Bienvenido a todos los miembros de Primelands. Well, hello to all members of the Primelands. You know, I'm trying to do different things, but welcome to this new video. Um, today, we are going to go through this uh, new feature that we have been working on, um, the pass-through um, properties and attributes. So, uh, primary libraries have been going through um, a renaissance, what we call it. We have had recently had a, a change in our state of mind. Instead of providing this, these out-of-the-box components, we are just uh, making them as customizable as possible recently. So. Uh, lately, as you, if you're tracking our progress, all icons are now uh, do support templating. So prime icons are now optional. And now uh, we are changing our styling. Uh, the, there will be two modes. One is the styled mode and unstyled mode. Styled mode is also going through a change with, with the use of uh, CSS variables. You know that theme designer is now open source, the salt based version. And now we are migrating uh, slowly to CSS variables and making sure that nothing is broken because um, you know, there are many users around the world. So we have to make sure that the migration should be smooth as possible. So that it's basically converting the SAS variables to CSS variables for a more dynamic approach. But what about that unstyled mode? So, uh, you know, libraries like Tailwind, the Bootstrap are quite popular and you can just add a couple of classes uh, well, in the case of Tailwind, you had to add many more, of course, but uh, we also have our own Prime Flex if you like to stick with the with the Prime Prime Land. So um, they they are kind of they they have a different approach. You know, the declarative approach. You just add a bunch of classes instead of regular CSS um, styling. So um, the Prime UI libraries have been using the regular CSS classes. Each component has a set of class like in this. A demo that I'll show you this the panel has a p panel um, p dash panel uh, style class header has its own style class and so on but um, what we're working on is this pass through attributes so that we are exposing the component internals right so you can just uh, access the, the DOM structure of the internals so that you can style them at not just styling you can at basically anything like any property like area properties, style, class, IDs, and anything else. So uh, this is the base for what we call the unstyled mode. Uh, this is done for prime views panel components, and the rest of the libraries will follow. You know, we always use prime view as the reference implementation. Uh, so um, we have an image here that uh, describes the component internals that you can use. For example, we have the root, that's the encapsulating ele element, and then we have the headers, titles. And so, so our design team and development team are working together to come up with this uh, wireframe so that you can just find out uh, which part you would like to customize. The nice thing about this is that you can just use this just to you know, access a certain element and just customize it. Suppose that you like to just add some space to the content and you're using the regular styling, no Tailwind, no Prime Flex, no Bootstrap. You, you can just uh, access it with the content, which is number eight here. And then you can just um, add some spacing, add some customization and so on. So it's, you, you can just use this, um, this uh, pass through attributes with styled approach as well. But the real power comes in um, with the unstyled mode. So there will be a global option like unstyled at the prime view, prime ng, prime react, uh, configuration API that un removes the styling. And then uh, there will be an also option to make it at component level. There will be an unstyled property. So right now uh, we need this pass through feature available in all the components. Once it's done, we will just move to this unstyled mode implementation because without this pass through, we cannot do anything. So once it is done, we will just add this unstyled property implementation and then basically we're done. But right now, uh, as I, I, this is like a feature preview, uh, which is available in latest prime view, by the way, but there's one thing to watch out. I will try to show uh, you how to style this panel, uh, which is this one uh, with Tailwind. So this is using the regular prime view Lara theme. You know, we have a lot of themes. But what if you like to uh, start a bit tailwind? That is also uh, right now possible. But there's one thing um, that we need to watch out for, which is 
at the tailwind configuration, I just had to use important because right now I had to overwrite the prime view, uh, let's say prime UI library style, which is not the ideal, right? Because we don't want to overwrite, we just want the style because once you start overriding, you will get probably annoyed <clears throat> because uh, the things that this, some external CSS will just intervene with your styling. We don't want that. But right now, if you don't want to wait, you can just start using it. Um, the best way would be just adding unstyle to this panel prop uh, component and then you, you will not have to worry about some external CSS intervening with your styling. Okay, let's begin. So I'm not very good with Tailwind. I just opened up the um, cheat sheet and find out some classes. And let's see. So here, uh, there's a PT. This comes from, you know, our background is Java surfaces, which I love. And there's, an, uh, there's a feature called in JS, a pass-through attribute. So that's what we call uh, the PT means the pass-through. So whatever you pass uh, will be available here. So let's make it like this. So I'm going to change the header, um, which would be uh, number two here you see so I'll just this would be an object you can just grab this object from your composition API options API or just make it in line in your template this is for view of course but also available it will be available in react and in G as well so header would be uh, an object like class background Okay, now here you see that my panel is has this Tailwinds Indigo. And let's make it uh, maybe like this. There's a title here. This title is number three. Should be class text white. You know, not just classes, but basically everything else. So. Oops, sorry. Or maybe here. Text white. Okay. If you can just investigate there, there's like uh, text white here. And what we have uh, okay, I, I written, I think should be here, like title text white. Okay, I just added to the wrong place. So header, uh, maybe I can, it would be easier if, you, if I just write it like this. And what we have, anything else? Maybe the border as well, border indigo 500. And then the content, because the content is number eight here. Content, you know, as I mentioned, this could be an ID, style, whatever you like. Uh, font should be bold and border. Okay, now here you can see that uh, my panel is now styled with Tailwind, uh, but this approach overrides the default styling. So once we are done, you will have an attribute like unstyled. In that case, the default styling of the theme will be removed and then you can just go on with styling. As I mentioned, there will be a global option as well. So another, before I wrap it up, another uh, important feature is that we are also working on something like um, Tailwind theme, Bootstrap theme. You know, we already have a Bootstrap theme, but it just mimics it. Um, instead of, suppose that you have 100 panels in your application, instead of going through this um, PT and ad adding it every time, uh, we, we will just have a global configuration like Prime View uh, on style theme. Uh, there will be a property called panel where you can pass these from a central location only once and then all the panels will have it and it will be reactive. So the once you change like light to dark, you, it will be um, updated instantly and you can use your regular uh, Tailwind Bootstrap classes here. 
and then which leads to this something we call the tailwind theming because although we the nice thing about it is that we don't depend on tailwind or bootstrap or let's say i think there are a couple of more or even our own prime flex which we're working hard to update it to the next version uh, as i mentioned the next generation of primary libraries have no opinion it's just they are as flexible as possible and we just provide the hooks the api so that you can add your own styling and it should be uh, we are adding features to make sure that you only do it once not repeat but of course in this case you can always the component level overrides the global level you know even that the global configuration is their style or run style you can override it per component or you can just overwrite this pass-through properties uh, per component, even that there's a global pass-through configuration for the panel. Same goes for the CSS variables. If you are not using unstyled mode, you're using the styled mode, you have your own style guide, you're using the, this new CSS variables that we will be introducing, you can um, gl globally style the uh, component library or just for certain panels, you can just easily have this with, uh, with the style approach as well. That will be my other video, the, the upcoming one, which I will post on Wednesday. So this one wraps it up for the unstyled mode. And the next one will be, it will show you how easy it will be using the style mode. So that's it. Uh, we are very, very, very uh, excited because, I mean, this is like, uh, this makes the libraries future proof. So the, I mean, the thing is that we only done it for panel components to get an idea of how much work we need. Luckily, it was not a lot because we used some reusable stuff. And now the miscellaneous menus files are coming soon, uh, which we'll have in the next couple of weeks. I think the whole library, starting with the prime view, will support this pass through. Unstyled mode is easier with our proof of concept uh, led to some you know, couple of changes. And I think by the end of May, which I am really, really bad at estimates, so make it June, I don't know. Uh, but our plan is by, by the end of May, uh, we have this unstyled mode, full first class tailwind support and pass through attributes, everything ready by the end of May. Then we will start on the style mode implement enhancements. And by the end of June, I think we'll be done for for what we have in mind for, for Prime View, and then we will port it to React, NG, and others. Uh, also, the next generation web components that we are working on. Okay, thank you for joining me. Um, hope you like this video, and see you on the next one, which I'll cover this time on. Thank you, bye-bye.